In this video I'm going to show you how to set up the instant access buttons so you can instantly step on buttons 1 to 8 to get that effect just like you would if it was a, an old fashioned pedal board. First thing I need to show you there is the switcher. If you look at the switcher those are the loops that I'm using. The top switcher, number one, uses the SD, the WAH, OD, CS, Whammy, Fuzz and the Distortion Modeler. GCX2 is the POD, Eventide, FET, SDD, TC2290, A3 and TC2290. They're all in series. It runs from number one in GCX1 right through to number seven on the GCX2. Those are the loops. When we come down to the GCX, the instant access buttons you can see don't correlate with those. They're set up completely separately. Those buttons will switch on whichever loop you want to. You could have button 1 switching on loop 5 on GCX2. You could have button 2 switching on loop 3 on GCX1. You can have them to do whatever you want them to do, whichever loop. They'll respond to any loop. So how do you set that up? Again, you just press both setup buttons, hold them down for a couple of seconds and let go. You then need to switch the instant access option. This tells you that button number one goes to GCX1, loop one. And by scrolling along, you can make those changes. Let's go down a bank. This tells me that button number 2 goes to GCX1 loop 3. Remember it goes to wherever you set it. Number 3 is GCX1 loop 4. That will be my compressor sustainer. If I wanted to change the GCX, use the up and down yes and no buttons. Go over to the loop if you actually want to change which loop that is in GCX1 you can change it there. Okay. To come back out, press one of the setup buttons. 